This is the uniform. This is I, I realized it's easier for me to come to these things uh, as I dress every day. Just a sad, all black goth man child. Is it worth walking the floor? Well, what's out there? I don't know. I think they're, as long as I, I'm with Eliza and Bob, they'll like help take all the heat and then I can go unnoticed. That's that's how I get around. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. So your character has some difficult decisions to make about what side to take and what you get to along the way. Well, obviously, now that Kane and Sinclair have been imprisoned because of uh, Monty following his mother, it's very tricky because he has an allegiance to the Hundred after everything they've been through together for the past five months. But his mother raised him. That's the past 15 years. So it's very difficult, even if she's on the wrong side of history. He doesn't want to turn his back and abandon her now that her husband slash his father is dead as well. So uh, hopefully they'll be able to figure things out. But um, yeah, it won't be easy. It won't be as black and white as everyone's making it out to be. Well, I think that's the big thing about season three. Monty's finally finding his own sense of agency and acting for himself instead of for Clark, for Jasper, for his mother. What does he want? And I think that's something that I'm dis discovering as well as we move forward. So. How long do you know, like, what Monty's going to do so you can play it? Like, do you know the side he's going to take and all that? Scripts back? No, no. Sometimes we get the script the day before we start shooting and just that episode. So it's hard to track the full arc. Um, yeah, it's nice. It keeps you in the moment. You can't plan ahead if you don't know what's coming, so it's good. What have been kind of the big story points where you've just been totally shocked by what's going on? Ooh, give me a second. Are we spanning all three seasons, or is this... Like the most epic one where you're just like, no. Oh, man, I feel like my brain's automatically going to season two. What is the no moment? Sorry, give me. Can we come back? I, I'll, let me process for a second, and that would be. That's the big one. Oh, right. What have they been for for you guys, really quick? While I what? Mount Weather. Okay, the blow up in Mount Weather. Interesting. It's not Lexadeth. It's not. It will not be Lexadeth. It will not be Lexadeth. That was a big one. Um, I think. Yeah, give me a second. I'm so sorry. I'm not, I'm not totally sure. Thanks. What are we going to see in terms of Monty's relationship with Jasper? Think? Well, I think in Monty's eyes, that's Jasper's move. At this point, he put his heart in the line at the end of 304. Jasper crushed it. And he's done everything he can. You can't help someone who doesn't want to help themselves. And I think he fully realizes that now. And so it, it is Jasper's initiative um, if he wants to repair the friendship or not. Uh, and right now, Monty's too concerned, I think, with what's going on in Arcadia to to be... They're a bit distracted at the moment. Yeah. The wardrobe looks so uh, beaten up and degraded. How does it feel to wear? Monty actually gets away with uh, pretty comfortable... It's almost very much like this a lot of the time, a very comfy hoodie. Um, I think, And in Mount Weather, they were all done up like Stepford Wives, too. So th that was actually quite comfortable and laundered and ironed. Um, I'd say it would be season one... My clothes are comfortable, man. I, I think everybody else, you got to ask some other people, but my clothes are pretty comfortable compared to everyone else. Yeah. If that were to happen, I would just hope that he did it for someone he loved. I, I would hope that it was for something. If it is uh, an accidental death, so be it. But you, you always hope and root for characters having... Um, yeah, some sense of heroics at the end, and, and, and even, even if they fail, at least their death was not in vain. So, yeah, you never know. I'm, I'm going to come to this. <laughs> oh my god, shocking moments. You know, to be honest, given that I know that all the deaths are coming, it's usually when I watch other people's scenes, because I'm not there to shoot. I'm usually blown away by, I, I'm going to throw him credit right now, Richard Harmon. Because we never work together, and I always see what he has to do and go, how is he going to pull that off? And he always crushes it with subtlety and grace and humor, which is so important. There's no levity anymore, so he's the only like comedy point in the show. So watching that always surprises me. It doesn't knock me off the couch, but... <laughs>
I hope so. I think it's a big part of growing up, and I also hope that he gets his heart crushed. I think your first heartbreak is much more important, actually, than because you have the optimism, and then you have realism, so blending him and making him a hopeful realist moving forward. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, thank you all very much.